Clam just announced their brand new 2022-2023 ice season gear. I think they've got 64 or 50 plus new items for this year. Some of the items are just new colors, so we're going to go through all of them in this video. I'm not going to drain the things that are just new colors. We're going to focus on the differences, and I'll have linked down below this page that we're looking at here so you can see all of it yourself. And then some of the specific items that I'll call out, maybe like the top five that I'm most excited about. Let's go ahead and jump in. Here is the site. I haven't organized it. This is just the default way that they have it. So the gravity reel, you'll notice here, the gravity reel, as you probably know, was out last year. This is not new, but there are new colors. This is a common theme that I'm seeing across a lot of the stuff which hopefully is one of the benefits you're going to get out of this video is I'll be able to call out what's actually new versus just new colors. The gravity reel is new color. The voltage reel is a new color as well. Uh, the rattle reel line is a new color. And then the silky jig trailers are new colors. These silky jig trailers are top notch. I highly recommend them. Don't overbuy them like I did. I bought a ton of packages of these last year because I was like, oh, I'm going to run out. If you want different colors, go ahead. These things last like forever. So just so you know, the Ascent Float Park, uh, the bibs, these are new colors. These are not brand new designs by any means or, or new suits this year, but they do have some new color options. The Clam Command hoodie, this is new from my understanding. This is not one that they've had before. There is another color that they have this year. Um, at the end of the page for some reason. I don't know why they don't have it all together, but it looks like they do have a black and a blue um, that are here. Size is small to 3XL. This looks pretty interesting and it looks comfortable to me. So I might look at picking these up. Next up, we've got the Katana Rod in the Straight Drop Rod. Both of these are not new this year, but they have some new variations, either new actions or a new color available for them this year. The Clam Lock Cup Holder. This is brand new. This has not been released before. This seems really interesting to me. If we open it up here, we can see that this is the only photo that they give us. I don't think there's even one in there. No, they don't even have one in the photo down below. But what's interesting about it, if I click on it, it gets bigger here. So this is their Clam Lock system. This has been released before. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before. But these, are, these can clip onto the hub inside of their hub shelters if you want to. Otherwise, you can get the backing plate that you can see back here. You can actually buy those, mount them on the wall of your wheelhouse. You can mount them on your ice fishing sled. You can mount them in other brands. You can attach them to the wall in your house. You can put them wherever you want. And then they have a ton of these different accessories that clip on. This is a new one for this year. It is the cup holder. And you can see there are some holes here where you can hang jigs, you can hang hooks, or a little bit longer one here in case you want to put like some pliers in there or something like that. Um, this looks pretty interesting. I have some of the extra hubs that I haven't used yet, so I might throw that on something and then test this out this year. Just looking at the details, it says it can hold up to a 32 ounce insulated mug, so that's a pretty good size. Next up, we've got the Clam Lock LED light. Now, this seems really interesting to me. Again, it's using that hub system, but you've got your button for your power up here. It mounts on and it is directional. So you'll see a better picture of it actually right here. It's 220 lumen output, three watt chip onboard LED light, 360 degree swivel. It does take the AA batteries though, as we can see here and the batteries are not included. There's pros and cons to that. One, you gotta have AA batteries and you're gonna use AA batteries, which there's a cost associated with that. But you don't need to worry about having some way to recharge it if you're doing an overnight camping trip. We, we have no clue how long this thing's going to last. Is it going to last us, you know, 12 hours? Is it going to last us 24 hours, multiple days a week? I'm not sure. I'll get one of these this year and, and maybe put it to the test. But this one seems really interesting. They even showcase here hub shelters, flip over shelters, tubs, permanent shelter walls. Basically put it wherever you can put that clam hub mounting bracket. Then we've got the clam lock phone holder. You know, if you don't already have a phone holder, I have RAM mounts that I use for phone holders with like their, I think it's called the X mounting system. Um, I absolutely love it. It holds it really secure and you can move it and it's very strong and sturdy. But if you already have the clam lock system set up in whatever shack you're using, this might be your go-to. Um, they don't say how far it opens up, but supposedly it fits basically any size phone. So you can adjust the depth of it and the width of it to fit. Um, 
pretty cool if you're looking to get you know into like capturing some photos or videos or you want to watch the game on your phone while you're out fishing lots of different uses for it this could be something nifty to look at it's only 30 bucks next up we've got the spreader pole kit so this is brand new from what i can tell this year it's a three pack of the spreader poles and it does tell you down below which model shelters it works with it does include all three of the poles this is a great way if you're looking for a little bit of extra um, sturdiness inside of your shack on those extra windy days or if maybe you've broken a pole. It is a full three pack. I don't know if you can buy them separately, but this three pack is what they launched this year. Next up is the Katana Reel. This is new this year. It's not just a new color or a new variation. This is new. Um, it does feature their SF drag system, the six plus one ball bearing. It's a 4.8 to one gear ratio, which is good. It's got that special EVA knob handle on it. Uh, one thing that I do really like about this, and I think Clam does this actually on a lot of their different reels, is you can see in this picture here, is it's got the one-click uh, folding handle. I've gotten so that I really like this. I typically use my Daiwa, I think it's like the XT750 or something like that, um, or the X750, whatever it is. It's, it's linked down below in the description if you want to check it out. But I love that you can just click the button, fold in the handle. This has that. It makes it a lot easier to put in your case rather than unscrewing the knob on the side. So this looks like if you're looking for a good quality, I would consider this like in that middle tier of a budget reel at $50. Um, for an ice fishing reel, yeah, it's probably more in that mid tier, but it's not super expensive for a good quality reel course i don't know if it's good quality but i assume that it's probably a pretty good quality reel they of course have a combo set up with that this year they've got the dead meat graphite combo in the dead meat midnight rod again these things say that they're new this is just a new color it even says right here the same jason mitchell dead meat stick rod we all know and love now with the midnight facelift it's just a different color on it um, that's where this can get a little bit confusing because they're calling them new products and while, yes, they are a new product, it's just a difference in color. It's not really a new product, right? However, the next thing really is new to them this year. It's the tip-up rattle reel spool wrap. These things, um, I'm going to get a pack because why not? I can't imagine they're going to be more than 10 bucks for a two-pack. I don't even know if they come in a one or a two-pack. Yep, it comes in two packs. Uh, but this is your uh, rattle reel uh, spool wrap. So this wraps right around your rattle reel, your tip ups, whatever you got, uh, just to keep the hook and everything in there from tangling on other things coming off of the spool, keeps things nice, neat and organized. And it uses Velcro, which is absolutely awesome. It looks like they come in blue and they also come in a black color. Their shelter. So the biggest thing, I haven't been yet able to identify any new changes to these other than the XT. So XT stands for extra tall. The common thing you're going to see here is if you look at the door on these, it is a tall full height door. The front of these is that full height. The idea here is that it's taller for when you're making those hook sets in the shack. You don't have the front of your shack dipping down on you like they used to and in other brands how they do. Um, you have more height to stand up in it, but you don't on the one man's lose out on that capability of just having flip up, flip back. It's still the one pole design uh, from my understanding. So the XT line is what they launched this year with those extra tall doors. So that way you're not tripping or having to duck to get in and out. It makes it a little bit nicer and roomier inside, potentially able just to stand up right there in that doorway. So they've got all of these. We'll click on one of them. We'll click on the one that I'm actually looking at potentially getting this year. I'm thinking about upgrading uh, my one man. And this is, I think, their flagship highest end one man that they have right now. It's the X100 Pro Thermal XT. I'm potentially replacing my Otter XT hideout just because I've worn it so long. And I'm, I'm always looking at new gear. So I got to try something out. And it's been a long time since I've had a clam shelter. So maybe this year for the one man, I may try this out. But you can see it's got the full front door here. You can see from the side view. And this is on all of their XT shelters, how they have these taller doors and that extra height. Here it is flipped down. They've got the movable seat, of course, back and forth. I think they've got a drawer tray thing, a mesh thing underneath the, 
the seat uh, a net or something like that. But anyways, these are their XT shelters that they came out with this year. They have them in all of the different formats of the flip over shelters that they currently have. All right, on to the next. We've got the Pinhead Minnow. So this is the Pinhead Pro and the Jointed Pinhead Pro. And then of course they've got a kit for each of them. Here's what's new and interesting about these. This is one of their flagships that they're really talking about this year. The Pinhead Pro is a replacement for the Pinhead Minnow of years past. The Pinhead Pro has a couple of main differences from the Pinhead Minnow. Visually, it looks pretty similar, but there are a few things that are different. Number one, it's made out of something different than lead. It's made out of a zinc alloy that provides a unique flash sound and vibration in the water. I haven't tried these out yet, but I'm gonna definitely get some this year to try out. So it is zinc alloy instead of lead. Uh, one other thing that I noticed that's different, and it may just be the sizes that they have pictured here, but it has two of the, what I would call like the gill uh, marks here. You can see them red in this photo. You can see them red in this photo. It looks like there's two on the Pro model. And then if you go to the actual pinhead minnow, there's only one. The other thing that I noticed is the detail on it. So it almost looks like it's imprinted or has a little bit of uh, more flash on the sides of it. Whereas the original pinhead minnow didn't have that. It had a smooth body. So those are the primary differences the Pinhead Pro versus the Pinhead Minnow. And we've got the Jointed Pinhead Pro. So these are the same differences as the Pinhead Pro from the Pinhead Minnow. It is the Jointed Pinhead Minnow, except upgraded to the Pro version, which means it's a zinc alloy. Um, it has that unique flash, the sound, the vibration in the water. Um, you've got that body texture and you've got those two stripes on the side. So these are welcome to see this year. I'm excited to try them out. And like we said, there's a couple different kits here. They've got the Pinhead Pro Kit and the Jointed Pinhead Pro Kit. These are the same types of kits they've always had in the past where you get a three-pack of them, different variations typically in the three-packs. I'm excited about these next few things here. So the gaff treble hooks, these are new. They've got size 10, 12, and 14 in three different colors. So they've got the black nickel color. They have got the red color. And they have one that's called polychromatic. That's what these three colors are, the three different variations that they have. Uh, the notes that I'll call out on these, they are the 1X strong, and you'll notice in a second here why I'm calling that out, but these are 1X strong. They have the straight super cutter point, so you'll see on the outside of the hook how it goes straight up to a point, and then it comes inside. They are the round bend hooks with that wide gap. Of course, they come in a six pack in the three colors that we have outlined. Not only do they have the Gaff treble hooks, but they have the Gaff X treble hooks this year, which are new. Uh, these also come in the six packs that we talked about, and they come in the same three colors. So you've got your black nickel, you have a red, and you have a polychromatic color. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump back to the black nickel because I think it's easier to see this detail here. Uh, these come in sizes 10, 8, and 6, so a little bit different than the other one. And right here, you'll notice 2X strong. So these are 2X strong. The GAF ones were 1X strong. The GAF X are extra strong, 2X strong. And they also have what's called the beaked super cutter point. So if you see here, we've got that round gap and then it goes beaked in. It, it arches in a little bit versus being straight uh, like the uh, 1X strong ones that we have. So that's what these guys are, um, six packs, 10, eight, and six sizes. I'm excited to try both of these out. Depends on the species of fish that I'm, that I'm targeting, as well as obviously the size treble hook that I need, but I'm excited to try both of these out. And those gaff treble hooks, they released something new this year called the feathered gaff treble hook. So these are just like those gaff treble hooks, except they come with a few different variations, four different variations in color. So they have black feathers you can get on them, you can get them with yellow feathers, pink feathers, or what's incredibly hard to see in this photo is white feathers. They should have put this on a black backdrop or gray or something like that. But these are the same size as eight, 10, and 12. I don't know if they come in, these come in a three pack, so you're not gonna get these in that six pack. Um, TBD on pricing, I don't know what those are right now, but those look good as well. I 
Uh, have some of these feathered treble hooks that I've used from a couple different brands in the past, even as recently as last ice season, and they work out awesome. So I expect these to work just as well. Glow Ice Buster Bobber. So the Ice Buster Bobber has been around the block for a while. We can see here it was actually invented in 1999. So it's been around for a while. What's new this year is these ones glow. So you've got that glow um, new patented uh, glow color that they're introducing. You can even see they put the patent design in here um, because they're really excited about it. You can get them in a three inch or five inch, two pack or six pack. Here's a really new bobber design that uh, I'm actually excited about this year. It's called the Stoplight Bobber. I'm going to pick some of these up. I'm gonna use them ice camping this year to test them out and see how well they work. Let me explain how they work. You have got the body of the bobber here. I think this is somewhere in that like probably three to four inches in height uh, that sits in the water. Inside of here is an actual battery though. Uh, it's a three volt battery that lasts approximately 30 hours and then you have to replace it. They're cheap. It looks like they're about two bucks a piece through clam to buy the replacements. You buy them in two packs. So it's four bucks for two replacement batteries. So just so you know, this runs off of batteries. The magic of this thing is the top portion here. So you're gonna see, this is a fiber optic. It's six inches in height here. You've got alternating green, red, green, red, green, red, green on top. This is what it will look like. It will be lit up when you put it in the water. It has your normal clip on on the bottom, just like their um, other bobber that we just went through. So it's really easy to put on the line, take off of the line, and it won't freeze to your line because it's attached below the water level. So when it's floating in the water, it's gonna be alternating color like that. When the bobber starts going down because a fish is on your line, this will all turn red and specifically the top part that's green changes to red. When it changes to red, that means something's pulling and tugging on it and you should probably set the hook and reel in a fish. That's what they're for. I think these are gonna be incredibly useful, not only for night visibility, but they're also gonna be helpful for when you have multiple lines in and maybe you have them hooked up to a rattle reel or something like that. And in the middle of the night, you're hearing something, you can see visibly which one is getting action by which one's turning red as it's going down. So could be interesting. They're not cheap, but they're not really expensive either. $16.99 for one of these. I don't know how many batteries it comes with. I imagine at least one, but hopefully a couple. That would be nice. They only last 30 hours. So, you know, every day, if you're, if you're keeping it in all day, every day, maybe you don't. I don't know if you can turn it on or off. Like, I don't know how all that works, but I'm excited to try them out. That's, that's what I know about them right now. So look for more on the ice review footage from me this year, because you know, I'll be giving it to you. And of course, these are those replacement batteries that they have listed here. So you can see they're like that cylindrical with a pointed tip shape on them. These are what go in there. $3.99, it's a two pack, three volt, 30 hour. They're lithium, easy to replace. I don't know if you're gonna get only that 30 hours if it's inside. They do say they're lithium. I imagine this is the same as most lithium batteries where if it's in super, super cold weather, like outside in, you know, zero or negative 20, it probably won't last as long. TBD. We got a couple of drill plates here. This is what we need to know. Drill Plate Pro. Clam has had their clam plate as it's been referred to in the past. Uh, this is now referred to as the drill plate and this is the pro version of it. Here's what's different. They've now put a rubber coating, a dipped coating on this uh, trigger finger handle here. I believe the Gen 2 already had the rubber dipped on the outside, even though they call it out as a feature. I think the outside handles were already rubber dipped. Um, the spring that's on this for the trigger, uh, that was a mod a lot of people did on their uh, previous generations. It's actually incorporated into this one. This uh, top bar that goes up and down to hold your actual drill, is higher so you actually have more height adjustment to fit a larger variation of those 18 20 volt drills that are out there on the market today i don't believe anything else is different on it this is 99.99 up next is a kit so it's that same drill plate pro um, it's the drill plate pro auger kit you can get this with a six or eight inch auger bit uh, put on here in the kit so they also now have the Drill Plate Pro with power drive. So here's what to know. It looks like it's $169.99 if you buy it all together as one kit. However, I was doing a little research before I filmed this video and what I found out, and it says right here, bolts to all second gen clam drill plates with four bolts. So 
What's different about this versus the Drill Plate Pro that we just looked at is only one part, and that's this part right here that you're seeing. It's the actual power drive. So there are four bolts that you can't see here in any of these photos. There's only the two photos, but there's four bolts here that this drive uh, bolts into. On the Gen 2 clam plate, or if you end up buying the Drill Plate Pro first, you can actually buy the power drive separately. I didn't see it on, listed it under the new items for them, but I saw it on a completely different website listed for, I think it was $89.99. You can buy this power drive in with those four bolts. You can just bolt it onto your Gen 2 or newer uh, clam plate. So the Drill Plate Pro or the Gen 2, you can put it on there. Why would you want the power drive? What is the purpose in it? They specifically say it comes in handy with a 10 inch hole as it will increase your auger's power and torque. How? Pretty simple. It's got a 3.6 to one gear ratio. So you're gonna get more torque out of it. That's how this thing works. It's pretty simple in design. Again, you can buy it separately by itself. It looks for $89.99. They've only got it listed here as a bundle deal for all brand new for $169.99. All right, next we've got the Rise Float Parka Blackout in the bibs blackout. These are just new colors. These are not new. The Women's Rise Float Parka in float bib. So again, these are just new colors. These are not new products themselves. I'm excited about new colors. I'm excited about new variations and things, but I feel like they should be listed separately because it's not truly a new thing by itself, but i um, excited to see that. Expedition gloves. So these I do believe are brand new this year. They look similar to something that I've seen in the past, but I do actually believe they are brand new. Um, they call out 40 grams of 3M Thinsulate. They have a brushed tricot lining, a reflective ice armor by Clam logo, premium goat skin leather on the palms it looks like, and the two layer shell with DWR treatment. So these look like your all weather gloves that you're gonna wear outside. They're not super bulky. They're not gonna be the warmest gloves that you own, but they're gonna be comfortable and they're gonna help keep your hands warm and dry. All right, next up, we've got the extreme gloves. So a couple of these things that I wanna call out here. So these extreme gloves, I'm confused. I'm gonna let you know. I feel like these have already been on the market as well as the extreme mitts. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I bought both of these last year and gave to people as gifts. Correct me if I'm wrong. They look like the ones that I bought. I think they were called Extreme as well. Maybe there's more insulation in these. Maybe something's upgraded with the design. Maybe something's different or unique about them. I don't know, um, but those don't look new to me. So I can't tell you a whole lot about them, what's new, because I don't even know myself. And the youth mitt that they have here, it looks like a youth version of those Extreme mitts. All right, the Vertex glove though, this does look new and this looks really interesting to me. I might pick up a pair this year. So you can see them here. They look pretty form fitted. They look like they have that leather uh, or some type of, you know, nice soft palm on it. And then they've got the nice strap and you see the word event here. So let's go through the feature. So it says they've got that soft shell outer DWR treatment event, waterproof, breathable insert. So they have an insert in them that's waterproof and breathable, which is great. Primaloft insulation, which is good. 113 ounces on the top of the hand, 100 grams on the palm. Pittard's leather, palm, and fingers. So these are going to be these are going to be a, a, like a good quality leather that's on there. Uh, hydrolysis resistant suede nose wipe. So that's really good. Jersey knit wool lining, which means they're going to be soft on the back here. That must be what this back part is, unless that's the lining on the inside. And then reflective logo and then the different sizes. These look really interesting to me. They feel like they'd be form fitting. They keep my hands warm, totally dry. I'm excited to try these out this year. So I'm going to pick up a pair. I'll let you guys know, obviously out on the ice, how I like them. And a few of the other things that are on here. So they have the ice balaclava. This is your mask. Um, they've got these this year, the ice team command hoodie. So if we go back, I think to the first page here. So they had the command hoodie here. Yeah, so this is the clam command hoodie that we we already we already covered this one, but it comes, we can see in the blue and in the black color. What is different about this one, I don't know why they have them separate on here, but they do, is they have, this is the ice team one. So it's got a different logo on it. Not, a, not is it just a different color, um, but it, it has a different logo. So it's a different product, right? So this looks interesting to me. The blue is the color that I would buy. I do like the black as well. Um, so it looks super comfortable. 
and it looks warm. So I'm probably going to pick one up this year. 50 grams of insulation, it looks like, stitch inside of it. And then they have some hats, some of these new designed hats they have this year. So go ahead and pick some of those up if you're interested. And that's all the items Clam is launched for the 2022-2023 ice season. I will link all of this stuff down below, including the five items that I'm most excited about picking up. And if you like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more of these new gear announcements that I'm going to be doing this year. In fact, this one that you see right here on the screen is Otter Outdoors. They just announced theirs about a week, two weeks ago. There's a video here on that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.